A sample of sulfur hexafluoride gas occupies a volume of 5.01 liters at 198 degrees Celsius. Assuming the pressure is constant, what temperature in degrees Celsius is needed to reduce the volume to 2.24 liters? Now, let's analyze this uh, question. So, we have this gas. It occupies a 5.01 liter volume at 198 degrees Celsius. So, we can label this 5 liters as V1 and uh, this 198 degrees Celsius as a T1, okay? And now the volume is reduced to 2.24 liters, that's V2. Okay, in order to reduce the volume to 2.24 liters from 5.01 liters, what a temperature is required? T2. Okay, so we know three quantities and we need to find out the quantity for T2. Okay. So this is a uh, Charles Law related question. If you uh, remember the Charles Law uh, equation, you can just start from here. Uh, but if you don't, uh, start with a combined gas law, and this is uh, under constant pressure, so therefore P1, P2, they are the same, then you will get this Charles Law equation, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. So from this uh, Charles Law equation, we can calculate T2. Okay, so we move T2 to the other side, then leave V2 on the right hand side and then the V1, T1, we just flip them. Yeah, we can use now this equation to solve this problem. So T2 equals V2, 2.24, that's V2, times T1, T1 is 198 degrees Celsius. Again, we have to always convert that into uh, Kelvin scale. So then plus 273.15 divided by V1, which is 5.01 liters. So the answer here is 210.65 Kelvin. And we have to convert that to Celsius because what I ask here is the temperature in Celsius. Converting the Kelvin degree to a Celsius. So this is what we have. Um, I keep a three sig figures because in the question, you see the temperature here, that's a three uh, uh, significant figures. So that's why I keep a uh, three uh, sig figs here. Obviously, let's look at the uh, choices. Yeah, A should be the correct answer.